the Silver Spade. This machine is no longer in operation, yet its track record still earns it a place on our list. The shovel kind of reminds me of this, like a large dinosaur, you know, grazing uh, on overburden in a coal mine. This mechanical dinosaur was taller than a 12-story building and weighed just under an incredible 16 million pounds. Its huge 105 cubic yard dipper was capable of digging almost 350,000 pounds in a single scoop, and its lifespan seemed infinite. It's great because it's lasted so long, showing a car that'll last 30, 40 years and be used 24 hours a day and seven days a week. In its 40 years of hard labor in the mines of Ohio, the Silver Spade moved over 600 million cubic yards of rock that's more than twice as much rock as they dug up to build the Panama Canal. Monstrous diggers like this could scrape, shovel, and haul off huge amounts of earth while strip mining. Sometimes damage to the land could be avoided or fixed. Other times, the effect was devastating. Yet in spite of their environmental impact, they were superstars. It was probably one of the first super machines ever built. If there was a Hall of Fame for stripping shovels, it's a candidate to be in the Hall of Fame. Its influence has even reached the moon. The eight crawlers mounted on four corners was the basic inspiration of the crawler transporters currently in use at uh, Kennedy Space Center. Literally, stripping shovel technology was used to build these transporters for man's uh, quest of space. The Silver Spade's awesome power was based on the design of the human leg. It was first of two only built by Bucyrus uh, that had a thing called a knee action crowd, which is the, the, the mechanism which, which, which actually holds the bucket that it digs by. The part of the machine that actually held the bucket, the dipper handle, acted like a human knee swinging backward and forward. Keeping the knee and all its parts moving was a challenge. The Silver Spade had an oiler continuously lubricating the machine. Without it, the 700,000 separate parts would stop working. The crawler tracks alone required over 6,000 gallons of oil to move smoothly. And because of its age, this veteran of the coalface needed regular checkups. That meant inspecting the 200-foot-high boom daily. When you ascend on our boom, uh, you make absolutely sure of your footing and your handholds to make sure that you don't slip. And uh, it can be overwhelming at times to look down, straight down at how far you are. It's, um, it's quite an experience to be up there. It is a good exercise. In fact, I used to take a lot of pride in how fast I could get up there. That, that probably wasn't the right approach to take, but uh, uh, as you get a little older, you, you need to rest a time or two before you get to stop. The hulking silver spade was among the last of a breed. Stripping shovels are being phased out and replaced by machines that can cope better with deeper deposits. The disadvantage of this type of machine is that it is quite restricted when it comes to its working area. These machines are nice, but they're almost dinosaurs. And uh, the Silver Spade is the last of its, of its kind. Now that the Silver Spade is retired, it's stuck at number eight. <laughs>